Hello everyone, I am P. Karunya Rao and you're watching Brandstand, your weekly destination of all the latest news and trends from Brandland. And this week we have for you all the action from Goa Fest 2016. But before we dive into all that, let's take a look at the top news of the week. Zenith Optimedia Group CEO Anupriya Acharya will head Publicis Media in India. She will now report to Jerry Boyle, the regional CEO at Publicis Media Asia Pacific. Anupriya's elevation comes at a time when the agency has announced a major restructuring at the APAC level, hoping to leverage the scale and capabilities of its global agency brands Starcom, Media West, Zenith, Spark and Optimedia. Global communications consultancy firm Maxis backed the mandate for Infinity Retail Chroma, a subsidiary company of Tata Sons dealing solely in electronic retail products. Maxis has taken over the mandate with effect from 1st April 2016. The mandate will cover the entire media end-to-end -end solutions for TV, print, digital, radio, cinema, etc. Maxis will also be managing the social assets of brand Chroma and driving their social strategy. Zenith Optimedia India has been appointed as media partner of Perceptech for media duties for part of Toyota's vehicle range in India, such as Innova, Corolla Altis, Fortuna and Camry Hybrid. Zenith Optimedia already handles Toyota across China, Europe and the US markets. The business will be handled out of Zenith Optimedia's Bangalore office. After spending over 23 years at the agency, Rajiv Sharma, National Planning Director Leo Burnett, has decided to move on to explore newer avenues. Rajiv joined Leo Burnett in 1994 as Vice President based out of the agency's Delhi office and after three years in the role, he moved to Mumbai to lead planning as National Planning Director. He is also instrumental in bringing Leo Burnett's best global practices to India. DDB Mudra Max has appointed Tarun Nigam as Executive Vice President to bolster the multi-specialty expertise of the agency and to help grow brands in the age of intricate consumer dynamics. An erstwhile CEO and co-founder of PM Media Solutions and COO of Graphis Ads, Tarun's earlier stints include Group M, Starcom Media West and Vivaki Partnership Unit. From the knowledge sessions to the sundowners, the after parties and of course the coveted Media and Creative Abbey Awards. This year's Goa Fest was nothing short of fun and excitement. And if you're wondering why I'm talking about Goa Fest sitting in our studio, I must confess to you all that my colleague Ruhi and I were too busy attending sessions and of course having some fun that we just didn't get enough time to shoot. Anyway, let me stop rambling now and I'll show you guys what we experienced for real at what is one of our country's biggest ad fiesta. Here's what happened. You ain't ever seen it like this was so official how I get it and I'm still in the pen. Goa Fest 2016, the Indian Advertising and Media Industries Premier Festival, took place this year from April 7 to 9th in North Goa. Organized jointly by the Three A's of I and the Advertising Club, the 11th edition of the convention saw knowledge seminars by industry experts and breezy sundowners culminating in a toast to excellence. This year's Goa Fest was bigger and better courtesy the efforts put in by the leadership. This is probably the only and probably the largest festival of its kind in the world being run by two not-for-profit organizations with the sweat, blood, tears of a lot of people who are doing it for the love of the industry. This is the eighth year Abbey has come to Goa Fest and I'm told this is the 49th year uh, Advertising Club's Creative Excellence Awards are being held. So, but, I mean, it's amazing. There was a lot of uh, close working relationship between the three years of I and the Ad Club and I think that helped raise the bar. And of course a sincere effort by everyone to try and see how to make it, uh, scale it, make, make it bigger, make it more credible. But if there is one man I would like to acknowledge and uh, publicly thank uh, whom I, he's a man who doesn't, not seen much, doesn't speak much, he's a guy called Jaydeep Gandhi. Okay, he's really the unsung hero who worked for months together to make it happen.
With over 2300 delegates in attendance, the highest in recent years, and over 350 agencies participating from all over the country at the All Important Abbey Awards, the festival has grown in stature and become more inclusive as this year the event was themed around making advertising more exciting for the youth. So every year we do experiment with the kind of people we call to speak and there are uh, learnings for us to see who motivates our young, 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 pe young people and who does not. This year I have motivated the youth with something else. We've done this young guns uh, to go to Khan and these uh, prizes for questions asked. A lot has happened over the last three or four years. It has been cleansed, the award mechanism has been cleansed. Uh, this year, for instance, the planning for Goa Fest started out way back in uh, November. So, so clearly, there has been a lot of effort made to ensure that we have a kick-ass Goa Fest. Despite some cynics questioning its format or even staying away, Goa Fest still draws a large cross-section of the fraternity, marketers included. We asked a few biggies from Brandland on what makes this year's edition different and more exciting. What I really like about Goa Fest, I think because maybe it's a more contained and you know most of the delegates are from, from India, so I think it's a great way to connect with, with the entire fraternity, right? It's been uh, very, very impressive this time because uh, when I entered the, the main ballroom today, I, I was quite amazed by the quality of the execution. And I thought the, the look and feel was really professional, really cutting edge. I think from an advertising community, this is the number one event. Uh, this year, I see like, you know, like me, uh, a few senior marketeers were there, I, but I expect the senior marketeers and the marketing community should be 50% going forward. If the Goa Fest organizer will start working towards it, I think this will really become the most important event for any marketing advertisement community across India. Most of the functions, you, you know, you go for an evening, you spend three hours, most of it just watching the award function and there's, a, you know, a short after party and then you go away. But there's no real conversations that are possible because of the limited time. I think GoFest allows you that amount of time. And for people who want to, frankly, listen to some of the work, some of the lectures, it's possible to do so too. As always, the event boasted of a starry lineup with leaders across industries and sectors sharing their pearls of wisdom, enriching our professional DNA. The first day had sessions by Samar Singh Shikhawat of United Breweries, Oliver Maltes of Volkswagen and the highlight being a talk by Mondelez India MD, Chandra Mauli Venkatesan on what makes for a good agency-client partnership. So I will firstly want to thank a lot of my friends out here. I really believe that uh, great partnerships is firstly about complementary strengths. So we must bring different strengths to the table. If everybody brings the same strength, then it's overlap, it's not a partnership. So it's about complementary strengths. But that alone is not enough. To make the differences work together, the complementary strengths, I think it needs a glue of trust, it needs a glue of processes, and it needs a glue of quality working together on a shared passion. A conversation with Red Bus CEO Prakash Sangam and Crispin Porter and Bogaski's Benny Thomas saw a near-packed hall on day two. Focus on innovation that uh, that I talked about in my in my speech that that I think all of us have to be uh, engaged with. We have to be thinking about new platforms, new technologies, new media, and how we harness that for our brands and for our clients. And since content is truly the king, how could its significance not have been discussed at Goa Fest? There is so much content out there that some of it's good and some of it's less good. So. No, I wouldn't say that there's a shortage of good content because there's simply so much. In fact, I'd say the problem is there is so much that it makes it even more important for brands to create content that can stand out. The much needed advertising meets film angle was added by industry veteran R. Balki in conversation with Karan Johar. I mean, that's what he did. He went to Vestro Devi and he prayed. And because gender was one of the predominant themes at the fest, there was also a session by Shobha Day on the need for gender neutrality. With so much happening all around, engaging Gyan sessions, incentivized Q&As, and of course the after parties, Goa Fest had all the ingredients of a fun fest. 
It is often said that the Abbeys are the mainstay at Goa Fest, but there are some people who feel that it's not just the Abbeys that draw people there each year. But the fact of the matter is that the Abbeys are indeed one of the top honors when it comes to recognizing creative work in advertising. So what happened at the Abbeys this year? Let's find out. Organized by the 3 A's of I and the Advertising Club, Goa Fest forms the backdrop to the Indian Ad World's best known creative awards, the Abbeys. There's ample out-of-office bonhomie and boisterousness all over, while the days are filled with interactions with industry movers and shakers, sessions by thought leaders from around the world. The evenings were all about joy and merrymaking as the three-day annual advertising festival concluded every night amid a super enthusiastic audience with winners walking out with trophies each night of the fest. We have got the highest number of entries over around 4,500. We have got the highest number of delegates here, over around uh, 2400 and we've also got the best uh, quality as far as all our jury members go and as far as the entire award ceremony goes. The Grand Fete began with a bang with the announcement of the media and publisher Abbey's announced on day one. Continuing its winning streak, Mindshare India secured the top spot by bagging a total of 17 medals at the Media Abbeys this year. The tally consisted of two gold, six silver and nine bronze medals. The gold wins were for Lakme lip bouts in Grazia, playtime for your bout for Lakme in the best use of newspapers and magazines category and for before iftar time, it's life boy time for life boy in the best use of integrated campaign category. Yeah, yeah, winning ways uh, certainly continues. I think it's one thing that we will make sure that it continues for forever, right? Um, I think uh, we finished 2015 in great style. We won about 176 awards, right, in total. And uh, we also begin this year very well. And it's great to know that uh, Goa Fest has always, you know, has been a great opportunity for us to show some of our great work and some good work across all. Uh, many more clients and many more brands. Now we take this as uh, we have got to do work across every brand that we do, right? And it cannot be only to look at some five brands or six brands. It's great to notice that there are almost 11 to 12 clients where we've got shortlist. So that's a good positive thing. And I would look at uh, not from only a total level. I would look at how can we get more and more awards across, you know, across work, across brands that we do. And the runners-up spot was grabbed by Maxis with a total of seven medals including one gold and two silvers. Absolutely, Group M all the way, a total of 37 awards uh, out of 77. So I think it's a phenomenal performance and uh, we won across agencies, we won across offices. We even swept uh, the awards which were given for the uh, rest of South Asia. We're all happy, we all cheer for each other while at one hand there is uh, of course a healthy rivalry and we at some levels uh, promote that as well. I think at the end of the day when you go back, uh, you all have a drink together and celebrate uh, in each other's success. A grand entry in the winners list was made by the Social Street which backed two gold medals both for Britannia Good Day. One was for the slide of smiles in the best use of ambient media category. The other was for smile to be surprised in the best use of outdoor category. The agency also backed two silvers. Day 2 saw the second round of Creative Abbeys being given away in categories including Radio, Radio Craft, Broadcaster Abbey, Brand Activation and Promotion, Public Relations, Print Craft, Brand and Content and Entertainment and Direct. On the second day of the event, the Media and Advertising Fraternity came together to felicitate Piyush Pandey on receiving the Padma Shri, the fourth highest civilian award in India.
Uh, we saw much higher entries, which is excellent because that means a lot of people have started getting into it. Uh, we saw Balki come here. We saw Piyush being felicitated. Yes, yeah. I think there is a slow, you know, it's now slowly getting into a thin line and a merger quietly, which is happening on its own. And a uh, lot more people asking and showing interest. And if you look at the number of delegates, I've never seen so many delegates ever. Day 3, which was the final day of the festival, saw the presentation of digital abbeys, print, film, film craft, integrated advertising, out-of-home, ambient media and design abbey awards. Taking the lead for the third year in a row was J. Walter Thompson, India, which won a total of 47 trophies, which included 5 gold, 21 silver and 21 bronze medals. Yes, I believe so, and it's, uh, it's, it's fantastic. Three years in a row, there's been a complete turnaround um, in business performance. Uh, but here we are at Goa Fest, and to be able to uh, also do well uh, creatively, and again, not just for JWD, but JWD and contract, is, uh, is extremely heartening for me. And um, the other thing that I, I believe we have won on are big brands like Unilever and Godrej. Uh, not only have we won uh, the maximum number of golds, we have also won the maximum number of medals. I understand that uh, we had over 200 shortlists, which itself is a record. So generally the sense that I am getting is that our work is looking better across the board. Among its work that won the top honours was Godrej Dual Video Door Phone Mama campaign, Airtel Uran campaign and Lux Perfume Portraits campaign. It's about the, the drive of the creative people. Every single member in the team is constantly pushing themselves harder. I mean, they're trying to, to do better work, to create ideas which have not been done before. So, they, so I think that's the thing. And I think our clients have also become a lot more receptive to, to, to more creative ideas. And you know, while we're trying to solve clients' problems in the process, if you push yourself and you, know, you, you take the idea beyond the usual execution, if you do something, you craft it into a, into a world-beating execution, then we have a good chance at, at a festival like this. Following on its heels was Staproot Densu which shone in the second place with 40 awards. The agency took home 2 gold, 19 silver and 19 bronze medals this year. The 2 gold medals were received for its Waiting For You campaign and the campaign for the Indian Outdoor Advertising Association. Considering we are 40 people, just one office, handful of accounts with 40 medals, we are celebrating as number one. We are competing with the, with the organization that is who has 2,000 people, 8 offices, 6 verticals with 47 medals and we are with just 40 medals. I think we are celebrating as number one. I think we have a strong belief in creative product. We stick to that and last 7 years we have been sticking to our belief and that's what has been working for us. One always expected that Taproot Densu would do very well because they've got a track record for it but I'm so pleased that Densu Creative Impact, Densu Marcom, Densu Web Chutney, Isobar, Visium, all our agencies have been winning. And not just winning, they've won uh, the maximum number of medals put together by far. It is by design because, uh, see, we were very clear that we're going to be the number two group as far as business is concerned by next year, 2017. We've announced it and we're well on our way to getting there. We'll probably get there earlier. Though there was some disappointment as there were no Grand Prix winners this year. It's a tough jury, right? So if you know how you sort of you, you judge from bronze to silver to gold, right? So when you hit bronze, you, uh, then the jury decides whether it qualifies for silver. If it does, and then does it qualify or make it uh, by a, a, a simple majority on the jury table to gold? Uh, and I think that's where the uh, the judges sort of cut off, if I if I were to use that word and say, I think it was good for it was great it was a great silver winner. Uh, but we didn't think it was gold. The number of golds have probably almost come down by half. Uh, nearly 40 to 50 percent drop in golds compared to last year. From, from 71 to 37, which is nearly half. So that itself shows us that even the num you know, you can't enter a Grand Prix or a best. You have to win a gold to become eligible. So the golds itself are maybe one or two per vertical. Where's the question of being best among golds? However, the jury recognized outstanding work in two new award categories, the Young Abbeys and the Gender Sensitive Awards. The gold medal in the Young Abbey category and the prize of flying to the Khan Festival was won by Bodhisattva Das Gupta and Nitesh Sa of J. Walter Thompson Gurgaon for their work for the brand Gender Violence. The Gender Sensitive Award went to hectic content for Anoop's The Calling Campaign.
Publicis Communication was presented the Best of Category Award for its client Ambuja Cement for the campaign A Giant Story. So that was our coverage of Goa Fest 2016. We had great fun capturing it for you. Moving on, let's take a look at the campaigns released this week. Bro, this is a synthol deo stick. This was a spray wala deo, ban sakta tha. Magar bana, cream wala. Synthol has unveiled a new TVC for its recently launched product, Synthol Deo Stick. Created by Team Creative Land, the campaign aims to showcase how Synthol has reinvented the concept of using a deodorant. Chale team guna zyada, rahe skin pe gentle. The title sponsor of IPL 2016, Vivo, has rolled out a campaign promoting its latest product offering, Vivo V-Series Smartphones. The new campaign is themed around faster than faster and highlights multiple features of the newest offering. It features Vivo India's brand ambassador actor, Ranveer Singh. Vivo Smartphone. <laughs> As part of its integrated campaign, Amazon India has launched eight films out of which three have gone on air. The campaign showcases the many different quirks of Indians in day-to-day -day situations. The campaign aims to position Amazon as the quintessential Indian shopping destination. We Indians love Asli. Isiliye 100% original products on Amazon. That's all we have in this edition of Brandstand. I hope you enjoyed watching the show as much as we did bringing it to you. If you have any feedback or suggestions, feel free to drop in a line to us at brandstand at zmedia.slgroup.com. I'll see you all next week. Take care.